Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. This is the Elegoo Mars 3 Pro, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out this new 3D printer from the folks over at Elegoo and seeing exactly what makes it a pro version of the standard Elegoo Mars 3. Well, besides the little sticker there in the bottom corner. If there's one thing that Elegoo is exceptionally good at, it's being consistent. Consistently making amazing 3D printers and consistently releasing pro versions of their Mars series of printers. We had the Elegoo Mars, then the Mars Pro, then the Mars 2, then the 2 Pro, then we had the 3, and now we, of course, need a 3 Pro. So what exactly makes this a pro version? Well, it's the same exact Elegoo Mars 3 in terms of the build volume and the screen resolution. So we have a 6.6 .6 inch 4K mono screen display, the same build volume of 143 by 89 by 175 millimeters. But what really makes this a pro version of the standard Elegoo Mars 3 is that they've brought over some of the new features that they built into the Elegoo Saturn S and the Saturn 2 and brought those over here to the Mars 3 Pro. So inside the Mars 3 Pro, we also have the COB light source that we saw in the original Mars 3, but they've also added in the new Fresnel lens, which was being used on the Saturn 2, which should provide a more even light distribution across the screen while you're 3D printing. And one of my favorite things that they brought over from the Saturn 2 is that anti-scratch tempered glass surface that's gonna protect your screen. So if you end up spilling resin on your printer, you're gonna have a much easier time cleaning that off. It's basically a built-in screen protector. Plus, you've got the added benefit of if you ended up breaking that or again, having a huge spill and needing to just overall replace that, you're only looking at replacing the tempered glass top, not the whole display. And then the other big one that they brought over from the Saturn II and the Saturn S is this active carbon filter that's USB powered directly inside the printer that's gonna help filter out any of the fumes and stinkiness that comes with resin 3D printing. And the last thing that they built into the Mars 3 Pro is a new internal cooling fan that's gonna help preserve the lifespan of your mono screen. That is a great addition. And one of the main reasons why I love the standard Mars 3 so much is just it produces some amazing prints and can print incredibly fast compared to a lot of the other 3D printers that I have. So when it came to actually printing things on the Mars 3 Pro, I was really looking to put that to the test here. To start things off, I used the default settings provided by Elgoo in Chitu Box for the Mars 3 Pro using their standard ABS light gray resin. And in fact, I've used that same bottle of resin, which is a brand new bottle of resin for all of the prints that I'm gonna be showing you today. And I still have some leftover resin to use. But this Dead Dragon by Photist Mint took eight hours and 20 minutes to print here using those standard settings on the Mars 3 Pro. Now, I knew this could print a lot faster, but I wanted to see what the results would look like by just using those default settings, since I figured some of you, that might be the starting point of your journey into 3D printing if you decide to pick up this 3D printer. For the next print, I have a really large 3D printing project that I'm working on from Hex 3D, which is this amazing Batman, Michael Keaton version display. So I wanted to print the actual figure for that display piece here on the Mars 3 Pro. And this took just over four hours to print here on the Mars 3 Pro with a slightly improved 2.2 second exposure time. Now, I don't have everything fully assembled for this figure yet because I am gonna be going through the process of painting it. So I'm gonna be showing you little pieces here and seeing how I can cobble this together for the video. And while I was browsing through Hex3D's Patreon site, I ended up finding this Camato, Camto, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the ice cream machine from Star Wars and the Mandalorian. So I found this miniature version of it and decided to print all the parts on the Mars 3 Pro. Everything, all the details look incredible off of this print. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work, this particular print file. It's not like there's mechanical parts to allow you to open and close it. So more than likely, I'm just gonna glue some of the components in place and use this as a little display piece, maybe for an upcoming project. Now I know this printer can go even faster by lowering the exposure settings even further. So I dropped it down to 1.8 seconds and I printed Gore the God Butcher from Thor Ragnarok. This is the Christian Bale version of the character from the comics. Photos Mint designed this and the likeness of the sculpt is just crazy to me. The details are popping beautifully as well off of the Mars 3 Pro. And with that new exposure setting in place, I decided to go off and print some of these Space Marines from Loot Studios, which took one hour and 37 minutes to print. 
That is incredible. I then decided, you know what? I'm gonna reprint those same Kamato files from Hex 3D and see how much faster they print with the new exposure setting. And I was happy to see that it printed in just over two hours, which is about an hour and a half's time savings from the original print. I then really wanted to test out the print speed settings with something that is oh so popular on the interwebs, which is Magai Beard's Articulating Dragon. This only took 50 minutes to print here on the Mars 3 Pro. Everything articulates beautifully, came right off of the build plate with a little bit of, just a little bit of effort without damaging anything here. And again, using that same bottle of ABS-like gray resin. I absolutely love printing these articulating dragons in resin. The details on them just pop so much better than what you can get off of an FDM 3D printer. And finally, I ended up reprinting that original dead dragon from Photos Mint here with the 1.8 second exposure time and it took four hours and 44 minutes to print, which is almost a four hour savings in time from the original file that I printed with the standard settings. This machine with a little bit of refining of the settings can print so incredibly fast and retain such amazing details. The Mars 3 and now the Mars 3 Pro are still like top tier for me when it comes to 3D printing. One thing I haven't talked about is the pricing for the unit. It is a little bit more expensive because of all of those additional features and things that they've added into the core machine compared to the standard Elegoo Mars 3, which has been out for a little while now. The pro version is available over on Elegoo's website, which I'll have linked down below, and it's on sale currently for $300. And I also just noticed that they have units available over on Amazon for just slightly more than for the price that you can find over on Elegoo's website. And I did also wanna say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in more information about the Elegoo Mars 3 Pro or the Saturn 2 or the Neptune 3 or their new wash and cure station, which I use to clean all of the prints here for today's video, you can find links to that down below over to Elegoo's website where they just recently had a pre-order sale going on for all of these new units that are available. And I also want to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for your continued support for me making videos here on the channel. If you're interested in my resin 3D printer settings, I will be sharing my Elgoo Mars 3 Pro settings here with you all very soon, but you can find those over in my Patreon. I'm really happy to see that Elgoo managed to find some ways to further improve on an already amazing 3D printer by adding in some new features here to the Elgoo Mars 3 Pro. But let me know down below, what kind of exposure settings do you typically print with with your resin 3D printers? Are you dropping below the two second mark? I'm gonna see how much further I can push the limits here with the Mars 3 Pro in an upcoming video. This isn't even with using Vroom settings or anything crazy like that. This is just using some of the default settings and tweaking those exposure settings. Hey, and thanks again for watching everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye now.